One of the ways that an individual, company, pension, or financial institution can make money is by issuing loans or credit. Sometimes this can be done by purchasing bonds. Each of these bond purchases carry some risk of default. A credit default swap, or CDS, shifts this risk onto an insurance company or other CDS seller in exchange for a certain premium. There are three parties to a credit default swap. The CDS buyer, the bond issuer, which is the company or municipality that wishes to borrow money from the bond buyers in exchange for interest, and the CDS seller, a business or insurer that guarantees the underlying debt between bond issuer and buyer. For example, a company wants to raise money to expand its business and does so by issuing bonds that pay 5% interest over 10 years. At maturity, the bond principal is to be paid back as the issuer assumes it will have enough money to do so at that date. The bond buyer has taken a risk by assuming that during the 10 years preceding maturity, they will receive 5% interest and at maturity receive their principal back. Since there is always a chance the bond issuer will default, especially if the bonds were rated low by rating companies such as Standard & Poor, the bond purchaser may choose to allocate some of the interest toward the purchase of a credit default swap. If they do, the CDS seller will insure the principal amount and, if the bond issuer defaults, will pay it to the CDS buyer.